Okay. Ow. Fuck. Holy shit. We have so much to talk about. I'm keeping my bangs clipped because I don't want to act right. And I'm trying to hairspray them. And then hopefully maybe there'll be a look soon. So I finally got back into this account. Um, of course, after I do a video that I've been wanting to do, I had a backup channel, Pink Flamingos. And I was so upset because I'm like, fuck, I have to start all over again. Um, nobody really understands my channel because I just talk a lot of shit. So I'm back. Basically, I went to the casino because like Chantel, apparently I had to have a gambling problem. And um, but maybe no. So a couple weeks ago after work or I lie, it was a Monday night. And usually we go to my job on Monday nights because we play pool and shit like that. So I blended up some Svedka vodka, pineapple, and a squirt of like that power kiwi limeade stuff. It's so good. Um, anyway, so we ended up going to the casino. I did not want to go. I never want to go there again in my life. Not just because my phone got stolen, but it is an absolute nightmare. Like, it almost makes you want, it makes you sick. Like I have never in my life seen so many slot machines ever. It was just like, not even fun. Like, I don't understand. Like, anyway, so yeah, my phone got stolen. I'm pretty sure some weirdo stole it because as soon as it went missing, some random dude runs up and he's like, did you lose your phone? And then proceeds to follow us around the entire casino. So I'm going to assume he stole it. I have no phone number, which fucking sucks. I got locked out of my email. I have been locked out of that account. So my phone probably got stolen about a month ago. So you know whenever you, you're you locked out of your Gmail account, that's your account to everything. So I was locked out of Instagram. Face, I know what a fucking tragedy, but you know what I mean. It just, it's shitty whenever you can't get anywhere. And especially I couldn't get into my messenger. So I can't text because, okay, so <clears throat> I use straight talk because I'm a broke bitch. But, um, they, for some, and they, I kept calling my phone. You know what really sucks though? Long story short, I'm, I'm back-ish. You know, I still have to, my best friend let me have her phone, which is, it's the same phone I did have before. It's a Galaxy S8, but it's a Sprint phone. So I have to go up there and get it unlocked to be able to use Straight Talk. It's a mess. The thing that like breaks my heart, luckily I didn't have anything bad. This person probably went through my phone. They're like, well, I would think anybody's kind of a weirdo because I have like random videos on my phone. So I don't know if... You know, if you find me on YouTube, hey, fuck you, you fucking loser. But, yeah, no nudes. Um, funny story is the only naked pictures in my phone, because sometimes, you know, Matt sleeps in the nude, so sometimes whenever he gets up and gets ready for work, I'll, like, snap a picture of him, because I think it's funny. Uh, so, yeah, there's a picture of Matthew, though. Because I played the machines one night at work, and I won a couple hundred dollars, and um that was right before i went to texas actually so it was kind of a blessing because that was able to pay for the gas for the trip but as a joke this is why you should always wash your hands after you touch money um matt was naked and i literally like put all the money on him and i took a picture so they found that picture in my phone you're welcome again you piece of shit i just feel bad hopefully that doesn't show up on any like weird twink websites and the, i wanted to talk about that um for some reason i've had a problem with flashing my fucking boobs i don't know what i feel maybe i'm in my mid midlife crisis i feel like my chest is getting hot by the way thanks for um maybe you can't tell on camera i feel like maybe the lighting in here is weird so after work thursday this this past thursday it's sunday um oh that was a pineapple chunk that was a hot face but i was like okay I'm going to drink tonight. Like, after work, I'm going to drink. Because usually, um, Matt's family, his brother and his uncle come up, and they like to drink. And usually, I'm behind the bar, um, helping out the bartender if it gets busy. I just cut my bangs, so I'm trying to get the nice swoop. Um, so, long story short, they ended up coming up. We started drinking. Matt came up. Uh, we all went to a different bar, and then we got drunk there, and then we went to another bar. Apparently, there was some older lady we came in, and I'm a suck. Like, I'm just, like, the overly annoying nice person when I drink. Um, it's bad. Uh, but this lady was just like, oh, my God, you're so pretty. She was, like, probably in her early 40s. And I was like, no, you're so pretty. Oh, my God. You know, like, the most annoying thing ever. And obviously, me and Matt aren't dating, but whenever I get drunk, so I'm kind of, like, huggy on him and stuff. And the lady's, like, obviously, she doesn't know we're, like, together, but the lady's, like talking to Matt going, you're crazy, you know, why aren't, you know, she obviously likes you, why aren't you talking to her, and like, he thought it was funny, because we lived together, 
But I don't know what it is. If I was trying to be like, girl, show them boobs or something. I don't remember what this woman looked like. But I guess I kept telling her to show her boobs. And I guess she asked me to. And being the kind-hearted person that I am, I flashed my boobs at the bar. And his uncle saw them. And it's fucking mortifying. Because I didn't even know... Matt and his brother were at the bar, okay? And this bar is dead, by the, mind you. We're, like, the only people there. So it's not like there's a crowd waiting to see my boobs. I, it's just me and the lady talking. And I see Matt and his brother. So they're not paying any attention to us at this point. So I don't, I'm not even thinking that his uncle's around. I'm thinking it's just the lady that's talking to me. So I flash my boobs. And then... It sounds creepy saying, like, oh, his uncle. Because it sounds like... I mean, it is kind of creepy. I don't know. But it's, like weird because he's kind of like really his uncle's super goofy but as soon as I heard the words like I heard at, like on the corner of my mind oh I didn't know you first of all why would you say this you weirdo but because you know he's like oh I didn't know they were pierced first of all why would I give you that information willingly and as soon as he said that my whole heart like fell out of my butthole I'm like so my boobs so my boobs so I think I cried over my pizza rolls whenever I got home. And so last night I'm telling my friend at work, the bartender, we're laughing outside because I'm telling her the story and she's like dying laughing. Like, I don't know. I, I Thank God, like my train wreck of a fucking existence can at least make somebody laugh because I'm telling you whenever I lay my head down at night, it's not something that I giggle about. It's very embarrassing. Like I'm, I am going to be that 40 year old woman at a bar that's like, everybody show your boobs. <clears throat> but I was telling her about it and we're outside at my work and she goes, oh my God, your nipples are pierced. She's like, you have to show me. I'm like, bitch, you can't do this to me. Cause, and then of course, so there's a guy standing outside smoking and it was just funny. Like, we're just like such a kind of a big family at this bar, but whatever. Um, I'm like, there's a guy right there. And she's like, excuse me, sir, can you please turn around? So of course I show her. I don't care about that though. Cause she's a girl. But then I remembered, oh my God, we have cameras everywhere outside my job. Hopefully that wasn't caught on camera. So Let's see what tonight fucking brings. And, okay. I don't even want to talk about that. I want to, because I just really want to talk about shit that's been going on since I haven't had my channel. I wanted to do a whole kind of follow-up to reactions, but I don't necessarily want to feed into the drama. But I think it is so hypocritical and fucked up. And I'm, I'm sorry. And it sucks that thinking that you can't discuss race because you're a white person, you know, that you're not allowed to speak on it. But it's also just... I'm sick of seeing that card being pulled everywhere with reaction channels because these women can say whatever they want, but if there's any type of, and I'm not talking about blatant racist comments, you know what I mean? There are people in the comments that are gross as fuck, and I am not talking about those people, but to me, I have not seen Chantel or Amber, and I, I hate that too. Sometimes if you are if you have an immense amount of comments, which I usually don't have, which is why I take the time to either reply and I can read every comment. Sometimes if you just go down in your heart in every comment and you don't necessarily see like, you don't see the whole comment and you don't click the read more option and you just heart it and somebody says something disgusting. Okay, well to me, um, that doesn't automatically... Maybe you're just fucking, you're trying to go through your comments and your heart in comments because you want to heart everybody's comments. You know what I mean? Like, okay, sure, maybe you should take the time to read it, especially if the beginning of it's a hate comment. But what if it's like, hey, girl, love your videos. It's a big fucking paragraph and you don't hit the read more. And then at the end, it's just like, and this person, you know, and then racist slur. I just, I don't think that should necessarily reflect. And I'm going to get more into this, but this is a statement that, Okay, see, like, I've said stuff on my channel, and I'm not gonna go fucking, like, back hella. Sometimes I just say shit that probably I would say, mm, shouldn't have said that, didn't mean. I would be embarrassed, possibly, if my job saw my channel just because I'm so anxious and I have anxiety, and this, this, that's, like, a weird thing to do, especially because I don't get paid for it. I just like to vent. But... I Charlie going out here saying, like, she's... Chantel's intimidated by a strong black woman. I'm sorry, but for real, like if you were to go, I'm not, I don't know why I'm using this as an example, like, cause I watch like shitty talk shows, like the real and whatever. Okay. If they were to watch your videos, do you think they would be like, damn, this is a strong ass woman. No, you're making, you made a career by dissing other fucking fat people and making fun of them. That's how you're making money. 
And it's so funny to me on her merch how she has like her mug shot. Like she's a hardened criminal. Like I want I want somebody to walk up on the street and be like, dude, where'd you get your shirt? Like, oh, who's that? Is that like a woman's activist or something that got arrested? It's like, no, it's just some bitch on YouTube that didn't pay her fucking parking tickets or didn't pay her rent. And you're like, oh, nice. Like it's, it's so cheesy. And I guess she thought it was going to be like a flip. Like I guess how huh, it's funny. It'd be funny if it was for like a real fucking crime. You know, like, if I got arrested for showing my boobs, I'd be like, that's, f I would never, like, my mugshot would be fucking horrendous. I mean, I guess there's no, no really such thing as a glamorous mugshot, but that'd be kind of funny. Like, if I had a mugshot, you know, like that, but if I was straight up, like, not paying my rent and I went to jail, I'd be like, can we not bring this up, like, ever again? That'd be cool. And, like I said... If you guys haven't watched the other video, I might re-upload it to this channel just because obviously people know where to find my channel. But I'm not sitting on here saying that I advocate straight up for these women because they have done shitty things, as I said in the other video. I don't think I'm any fucking better than any of these women. Nobody's better than the next. But to, to act like you're really doing something, like, are you fucking kidding me? You sit on YouTube. Okay, these bitches might sit on YouTube and eat. Okay, well, a bitch gotta pay her rent. I don't care what Chantel puts in her body because it doesn't affect me. I used to, but then I'm like, what's the point? You know, I think it's more of a, I don't necessarily think I've ever cared what they eat. I don't like the cockiness or how they're like, they try to be overly nasty when they eat because they know it pisses people off. Like, for an example, Trisha Paytas with the whole My Chemical Romance thing, it's very annoying. And the more people bitch about it, the more she does it, which is even more annoying, you know? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like in that sense, uh, what's always annoyed me. Am I getting red? Vodka always turns me red. Um, but yeah, I don't think she's out here doing, doing God's work and it's the same thing. Um, I do have, I do see Chantel's community post as is everyone else clearly, but that shit that Callie was posting, like obviously it was a joke about the the voicemail, I forget what the lady's name was, but it was like, you nasty fat bitch, like, I'm gonna come up there and beat your ass. But she used Chantel's name. It's like, I'm so fucking sick of these people being praised for being scumbags. Like, and people are back there just like applauding, like, fuck yes. We just love, that is a fat ass word. Racist, that is a, I fucking, I can't stand that shit, okay? Because I know what it looks like for like people just to be blatantly fucking racist. And once you say that word or just call everybody and their mother a racist, it takes away from the meeting. Like, and I know it's fucked up to compare certain things, but it's like, it's like when people falsely accuse someone of rape or falsely accuse someone. Okay. Well then whenever it's a really big crime, it just tossed around like, okay, well, they're racist or yeah, they're a rapist. You know, obviously they're two major different things. I realize that. Just trying to get a point across. And <clears throat> it's not just these two women. It's ever, I talked about one vlog away on my other channel. It's getting too much. It's, and I get it. I get what she's saying. And, but it just seems to me, um, and Alex is shook. I really can't watch him. I don't know what it is. Uh, Michael hasn't uploaded. Michael was really the only person that I could laugh at because his humor, it, he just reminds me of like one of my best friends. Uh, like literally one of like my guy, gay, mixed best friend. That's who he reminds me of in real life. I'm not saying he's my best friend in my head. I have a real friend like that. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. I, I think, would think it's funny, but on... I just think there's too much time being put in this, like, community post. Like, oh, I'm going to expose this video. It's like, okay, well, if that's what you're making your video on, sit there and make your money and shut up. Like, why do you have to do community post after community post? And you have a hell of a lot of time on your hands. That's all I have to say. But, um, I mean, I guess, I don't know if I'm going to make a whole other video on that since I've kind of already said what I was going to say. I'm sweating. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to do anything tonight. My friend hasn't texted me yet. Which is strange, but I love you guys very much, and I will be back. I love this shirt so much, don't you guys? I just, mm, mm. All right, love you guys. Yeah, bye.